Welcome back as we dive into some more methods that we use here at Starter Sports Training. Today we're going to go into the method that is often talked about. It's a buzzword out in the industry right now, potentiation. The technical definition of potentiation is an increase in strength of nerve impulses along pathways which have been previously used both short term and long term. So what's a simplistic or a simplified way to put that? Basically, you're using a training stimulus and exercise for short term enhancements in performance. This could be immediate or the next day, depending on the method that you use. Realize that hindering can also ha happen. The body's going to adapt, adapt to the stress is given, so there could be hindrance. You have to analyze or track what is happening. Main focus, even though you're using potentiation for short term, has to be the long term athlete development in my mind. There are three main ways that you can use potentiation. The first one is CNS excitement. You're trying to find high amounts of speed and power to get that athlete to achieve higher amounts of that speed and power, I should say. You're going to try to prime a certain action. It could be a hip extension. So you're going to use a deadlift or a squat for the preceding action that might be a jump. One of the things that you're trying to do is push the athlete's comfort zone. Potentiation, again, remember, we're trying to get them to achieve something that the body hasn't done before or without utilizing an exercise prior. So you're going to push the athlete's comfort zone through this. The next way is just using it as an activation tool. You're trying to get what is in the athlete out. Oftentimes I'll talk to the athlete and say, does it feel like there's more in there? Take pitching, for example, the back hip. I just can't find a way to feel it. We're going to use exercises to activate to get that to turn on. We're using these exercises to help enhance the desired uh, patterns. Okay, what is the correct sequencing? Can we get something to turn on to get a better pattern? Another way to put it is we're just trying to groove the feeling for the athlete. We can also go into change in the length tension relationship. This is going to be a lift that might be done prior or the day prior to the event that you're trying to improve. The body adapts to stress. Lifting will change it. Okay. How and when to change the length tension relationship is very key. Okay. You're trying to tighten up muscles for the time that you want the, the game or that bullpen, okay? Best to do the day before and within the 24 to 36 hour time window. If you start getting into post 36 hours, you're going to get more of the soreness, not tightness of the body. It might hinder the performance. Intensity on these days is going to be high. Volume real low. Always potentiation is not for everybody or at any given time. So is pot potentiation desired at this time for the athlete? Questions that we have to ask is what type are we going to try to, to use? Which is all going to be based off of the athlete's training age. Sometimes just get them stronger. Movement quality. If they don't have proper movement quality right now, let's just fix that as our potentiation instead of enhancing, some, enhancing a poor movement quality. Conditioning. Again, we're trying to get the athlete to achieve something that they haven't done before. It's going to be very taxing on the body. Okay? Are they conditioned enough 
to handle that extra stress. Also the time of the year. Okay, potentiation can be used any time of the year, whether it's off season or in season. It just has to be, make sure that you monitor how it's being used. Hope you like this little insight on how we look at potentiation real brief. We'll get into more methods in later films. As always, please like and follow us on our social media as we start diving into some of the things that makes it the starter's way.